Hello everyone, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In the series of business rule, today we are discussing about global variables. So these are the two global variables which are available when we write any business rule. The very first one is current and then previous. So if I open this incident and work on this, okay, I update something. In that case, this is the record being referenced. So the current will work here, okay? Whenever I want to access any of the value of this field or I do any operation based on current that will be applicable to this record. Same goes to any other record which I open. It means the record being referenced. So I think you understand now. The same thing goes for previous. This also work on the referenced record that is the record being referenced and this variable holds the last value of the record which was updated to a new value now. The only thing which you have to remember is that the previous variable is available on update and delete operations only and not available for a sync business rule. Okay. So now let's quickly go to the demonstration. Test global variables. Okay. You see here, this is my script, very simple script. So by using dot operator, you can access the functions. Along with current and previous, you can use DS also, which I already explained. This is the glide system. You can use the functions of this DS class to get the system information. Here I am using this add info message function, which display a message on the screen. Okay. Whenever this business rule get executed in the same way, we can use dot operator with variables previous and current to get the access of the field available on the form. And this short description is the name of the field just here. So this is the label, but when you right click, you will see the name of the field. So whenever you do any kind of scripting in service, now you have to use the column name, not the label of the column. So let's come here. Just pay full attention. It is very interesting. So here I'm displaying the previous value of short description. Okay. In the add info message, then I am changing the short description to demo global business rule and then I am just updating the record. So now let's see what is the business rule. This is after business rule. Let's change it to before business rule. Okay. And just remove this because whenever we use before business rules, we need not to write current dot update because it is a before one. So the action will happen after the changes. Okay. After the business rule, change the value, then the update will automatically happen. So that's why we avoid writing current dot update in the before business rules. And then I'm again displaying the short description. So now let's save this. Let me make an update in this incident. Change the category to network. Now save it. So here you see the script is working properly because this was the previous, right? And this is the latest current dot short description. Okay, so now let's do one thing. Let's change it to after. Let's update the business role. So now let me open this incident. Let's update the category. Okay, now look at this amazing result. This is the previous one, I guess, right? Because we are providing previous short description. Why it is previous, it is still the same. And then look at the last one current dot short description. Current means the current one, but it is not providing the current one. <laughs> Confused, right? In the very first line, as we have made changes for the first time, that's why current and previous will work like same. And then we are changing the short description to this. That is different thing that we are not updating the record, but we are changing the short description, right? So we are changing the short description to this and then it is printing the same thing here. So that's why we are seeing this. So now if I remove this current dot update, things will be more clear to you. Let's change it to inquiry. Okay. Save it. I guess this will be more clear now because now we have used it in a proper way as this is the after business rule and we have used a proper current dot update. So that's why you see the previous one. Obviously the previous one is this trouble getting mail servers. 
and we have updated the short description to this and then we have updated the incident as well that is the current record that's why you are seeing the changes here and then it is picking up the value and showing you demo of global variables so this is how you have to be more careful when you use current and previous especially previous because it works in only update and delete operations it will not work in query and insert operations along with that it will not work in async business rule as well as there are chances where the previous is null or previous is same as current as i already shown you in this example just take some cautionary measures and print the value before you use so that you will be more confident and your logic will not fail so along with current and previous there is one more object which we will check that is g scratchpad but this g scratchpad variable is available in the display business rule in the next video i will provide a proper example of display business rule where i will use g scratchpad till then let us know your doubts subscribe to our channel thank you so much bye bye